Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Bristol unveils new high wing design. The NBAA joins an opposition against Aircraft Noise Reduction Act. And the FAA validates Bombardier Global 5500 and 6500. Welcome back. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. Bristel plans to show the public its new high-wing all-metal aircraft, the B-8, at Aero Friedrich Schaffen 2020. The B-8 is a strutless high-wing airplane with a steerable nose, wheel, and control yokes in the cockpit. The basic model will be powered by a 100-horsepower Rotax 912 ULS, with planned options for Rotax IS 914 and 915 IS engines. The 49-inch wide cockpit will have composite doors and a separate door for the luggage compartment. The company says the B-8 will be certified in the Czech Republic as an ultralight with a maximum takeoff weight under 1,300 pounds. If you want to book a production slot, you can do so right now. Bristol says the airplane is two months into production and delivery positions are available. The price will be similar to the current Bristol models. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. A 1967 AH-1F Cobra helicopter being used as part of a display for the Celebrate Freedom Foundation in South Carolina was damaged when a drunk driver ran into the aircraft last week. The South Carolina Highway Patrol said the aircraft suffered about a half a million dollars in damages and the driver was arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. Father Matthew Barzare and parishioners of St. Anne's Church used a crop duster loaded with holy water to bless a small town in Louisiana. The aircraft was filled with 100 gallons of holy water, which was sprayed over the entirety of Cow Island and nearby farms. The KC-46A Pegasus crew from the 22nd Air Refueling Wing completed the aircraft's first flight last month. The first global circumnavigation for the KC-46A Pegasus provided extensive training opportunities for maintainers and air crew at multiple locations on a seven-leg, 13-day journey. That included its debut at the 2019 Dubai Air Show. Supervisors of the Winnebago County Board approved three resolutions to move forward with the construction of a new general aviation terminal facility at Whitman Regional Airport. The terminal project has been in the work for several years, as operating costs of the existing terminal have risen. Two existing structures located on 20th Avenue will be replaced by a single, more efficient and right-sized facility to appropriately serve the airport. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einem globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. NBAA, along with other industry partners, has expressed opposition to HR 5423. 
the Aircraft Noise Reduction Act, which aims to give local officials the ability to severely restrict access to general aviation airports. The bill faces broad resistance from industry groups, ranging from general aviation organizations to airline associations. H.R. 5423 would allow general aviation airport operators to impose noise restrictions on aircraft used for compensation or hire. Not only would these restrictions impede airline and business aviation transportation operations, but critical services such as air ambulance, organ transport, and disaster relief could be impacted as well. NBAA and its allies said H.R. 5423 would undercut the utility and safety of thousands of airports across the nation, reversing course on the need to regulate aviation matters at the federal level. NBAA President and CEO Ed Boland stated, For close to 100 years, Congress has recognized that aviation must be regulated at the federal level. The national system of airports would be undermined if restrictions are made at the local level, as the Aircraft Noise Reduction Act is attempting to allow. The FAA has validated certification of Bombardier's Global 5500 and 6500, clearing the way for the aircraft to enter service in the U.S. market. The first 6500 entered service in late September, following Canadian approval. Bombardier also announced the delivery of the initial 6500 on order with Hong Kong base HK Bella Wings. The approval comes a little more than a year and a half after the unveiling of the aircraft during eBay's 2018. The new variants are fitted with the Rolls-Royce Pearl 15 engines, reprofiled wings, upgraded interiors, and flight deck features. The result is a 5,900 nautical mile range for the 5,500 and a 6,600 nautical mile range for the 6,500. And that's it for today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. I hope you and your loved ones have a wonderful New Year's holiday, and I'll see you right back here on Thursday.